For the past couple of weeks, uh, Will and I have been working on making some updates to one of our current products. Uh, in this case, it would be the baby carrier. And I figured, you know, I'm gonna be up here today working on more of that, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes look at how we prototype our products. <laughs> Okay, so what I've been working on, with the help of Will, is updating our baby carrier. And this is something I've been wanting to do for quite a while, actually, but the baby carrier is sort of a tough item to do that with because it's pretty regulated and then we have a lot of like certifications that have to be done, a lot of testing, lab tests, things like that. So to make changes or updates to it becomes a very challenging product or project uh, to accomplish. So. I've had to be sort of selective and we've always been in a hurry for more inventory. That's besides the point and it doesn't matter for the story. So the first part of the process for us is to make notes about what we want to change about the product. So we took feedback from you guys, uh, from our customers, and things that we knew internally we wanted to, cha to change or that we knew we could improve upon. So we took some of that stuff and just started sketching it on directly onto fabric and made a like very, very, loose simple uh, prototype of that fit it tried it on took what we learned from this and then will the ninja graphic artist here took that and translated it into the computer into adobe illustrator and then we made some tweaks and changes and made sure everything was symmetrical and that kind of stuff and then he's able to make some templates from that and then the small pieces that he creates the templates of we're able to take small pieces of our, our materials that we use and just put it through a simple Cricut vinyl cutter if they're small enough. That's super handy because then you end up with these very precise, clean cut templates like this that make it very easy to sew together. Things that are longer or bigger than 12 by 24 that we can't put through that, we have to kind of go old school. And uh, what we do is print it onto paper Sometimes you have to link that together, but then this becomes the template and we just trace it and hand cut it very carefully. Very carefully, Will, right? Very, we, very, very carefully. carefully. <laughs> Precision cutting. So for context, this is, what is this, version 5 we've made? A few experimental versions in the beginning to test some like funky stuff and buckles and things like that. And then we do some baby testing, baby fitting. We make a lot of notes, we get a lot of feedback, we get several different kids in this, different sizes, Will takes it home. Uh, and then we come back to the drawing board, make adjustments as necessary. Um, maybe we have a new idea, we want to try something different. Uh, this was the most recent version that I finished, this is an awfully complete version. Uh, sometimes we do really, really simple mock-ups of things, like the one we're working on right now is gonna be like bare bones mock-up to test some new dimensions uh, for some areas that we're experimenting with. So we're just gonna make a very bare bones version of this to see how that works. And then we'll make a much more refined version of that and send it along to the factory. Another crucial part of this step is to take notes along the way of what you're doing, what lengths to cut certain things, stuff like that, so that when you go make another version of it, you're not trying to measure stuff or do things like, have a list of things so that you know you need six pieces of five inch webbing or whatever, so when you're cutting webbing, you can just cut everything you need at one time, streamline that process a little bit more.
and six versions later, that's where we're at. Uh, we're actually like six and a half versions later, so now we've got to get some kids in here. We've got to test this version of it, which we made some like dimensional changes, which is why we made it like such an incomplete version versus something that was more complete like this. We just needed to test some, some heights of things. But um, I'm by no mean uh, an expert at what I do. I know enough uh, to be dangerous and to prove some of my theories and concepts for what I want in a product, and then I pass it along to the experts at that point. So this is just sort of a quick overview of how I do that. If you guys want some more in-depth information and tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Go check us out at tacticalbabygear.com. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.